We are back with another one. I'm super excited about this one. One of our favorite shows is coming back. The Expanse. One I'm of excited. the best sci-fi shows i ever seen on a television. Yes. Right? You were first, so into the show. I, yeah. At first I wasn't, but then, oh my God, I can't wait to see this trailer. Let's see this, please. Let's check this out. Let's get right into it. My name is Marco Inaros. I am the, the commander of the Free Navy. With the opening of the alien gates, we are at a crossroads. No longer will Belters be persecuted. Hmm. With this attack, we will show our oppressors a thing they never thought possible. The future of the Belt has begun. Nothing's ever going to change. You've got to stop focusing on the end of the world. You've got a ship of your own, a good crew, someone who loves you and you love, and they're responsible for the world. Why are you going back to Earth? I have personal business in Baltimore. Oh, this place Ashford's ship. I never thought I'd actually find it. We have an OPA informant. This is your son. Oh, wow. I chartered a freighter bound for Palace. I have to go find Philip. I was always waiting for you to turn oh, up. This world is messed up. Float to the top or sink to the bottom. Ooh. Everything in the middle is a churn. I have information that Minaris intends to attack civilian targets. I don't know if it's a single huge conspiracy, but someone high up in the chain of command is in on it. This is not my fight. Marco has millions of vertes. If you go toe to toe with him, we could lose. Hmm. You have committed the entire belt to war with the Inners. They wanted to fight. We'll give her one. Hmm. It's time to take the Rossi out for a hunt. Do your stuff, fly boy. <laughs> no Marco no said accomplished what a century of leaders have promised. He's gonna unite. A hundred separate factions into one nation. Hmm. It's time to let the system know who we are. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. <gasps> oh. Oh man. Man, that looks banana. That looked bananas. I can't wait for this new season. <laughs> oh my gosh, so much going on. That was a perfect trailer. They showed a lot, but not too much. I think and, they showed a uh, lot. They did, but not, I mean, not a, not a lot to the point where it's like, okay, I saw the whole thing. No, they showed just enough in this trailer well, in this to get show, me excited. In this show, I don't think any trailer is going to be enough because right, cause it's a every TV show. episode is just so much. I remember like yeah. all the previous um, seasons, I was always like, okay, okay, let me, let me like put everything, you know, in perspective because every mm -hmm. episode was just so much stuff going on, happens. you know, a lot, a lot happens. Happening. Um, but it looks incredible. incredible. It looks like everybody just looks really like kind of different. They change kind of some looks. They, you they know, always change a little, little bit in between looks. seasons. Yes. I feel like this season is going to be more about each individual character. Like, they're going to develop the characters a little bit more. You're going to see more about their past. You're going to learn more about their past. Like, Amos goes back to Earth. You're going to see where he's from in Pittsburgh. You're going to see what his life was like. You're going to see him reacting to his past. Naomi, you're going to see that connection that she has with her son. They're going to show that the son that she Which hasn't seen in forever. A great casting. Great casting because that they does look, look like that look like it could be her son with Marco and Marco is her ex which is also part of her past and now Marco is like the space terrorist that's totally opposite of what she believes in you know and what Jim believes in as well so you know the past seasons were more, more about like space exploration mm -hmm. uh you know and the previous one was discovering this new world the one before that was you know opening these hole in the ring right, right? but right. this one is i think going to be the most character driven season and we're going to learn more about our favorite characters i agree a hundred percent 
Yeah. And I think a lot of action. A lot of action mixed in with all that character development. Yes. And definitely there's major things that are going to happen. You can see yeah. that it's major things where you're major gonna things. be like, oh. Yeah. And at the end, they kind of showed Naomi a little wounded there. I hope she's going to be okay. I Honestly, hope... I have a feeling. I hope I, she's okay. I thought Naomi was going to like be gone in the last season. But yeah. I think this is it. Probably at the end no, of the show. No, don't say that. Don't say that. I mean, she was struggling the last season because she couldn't be in that atmosphere in the other planet. Right. She was having a hard right. time surviving there. So she was already kind of debilitated. But remember... She's finding her son. Her son is on the other side, Marco's side, right? Mm -hmm. Looks like it. And, you know, she's so passionate about that love that she might do something crazy because of that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's going to be crazy. I mean, I love sci-fi. I love good sci-fi. This is one of the best sci-fi I've ever seen. I'm just happy the show's coming back. We just finished raised by wolves which is another amazing show if you like the expanse go check out raised, raised by, by wolves Wolf. totally different show totally different concept but really good sci-fi and uh guys which show is which show do you like better which show is better sci-fi leave us a comment the expanse or raised by wolves which show <laughs> takes sci-fi to another level you let me know That's because hard i always thought the expansion was one of my favorite sci-fi shows ever made but raised by wolves oh my god that show is amazing too guys which one do you like better leave me a comment I let me know. know have you watched raised by wolves let me know yes i mean they're kind of different though. they are different they're but they're different. both futuristic sci-fi yeah both they are both okay yeah yeah. yeah, very intelligent they're shows. They're in a similar genre. So mm -hmm. they're comparable because they're in similar genres. Yes. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye Peace. Bye.